Welcome back to Miller Outdoors YouTube channel. In this episode, we start the boat project. We're Outdoors YouTube channel, and this is the first video in our series of our boat project. Today we just picked up the boat. It's looking pretty good. We're cleaning it out right now and writing down our checklists on what we're going to have to do throughout this project. Um, we got the a Johnson Seahorse 6 horsepower uh, motor. It's got some cleaning that we are going to do and a mini Minn Kota, um, uh 28 pounds of thrust trolling motor. My dad's friend hooked us up with all this stuff. It's super awesome. And uh, we have, uh, he gave us the trailer as well. So we're going to fix it up. It needs work as well. We're going to have to rewire it. But we'll bring you along for the trip. <laughs> it probably doesn't look like it too much, but we have finished cleaning it out to the best of our abilities. There was a bit of a gas puddle right here because we were storing a gas, an old gas tank in here and it leaked some really old gas all over the place. But we cleaned it up to the best of our abilities and uh, cleaned up back here and wiped off the seats. Got all like the bird poop and whatever was in there out of there. And uh, we, uh, apparently there was a slow leak in the front in here so we used some of Bill Swift's um, Flex Seal. And so, sealed that front up, and, uh, this, uh, winch was all rusted out and squeaky and stuff, but I threw some WD-40 and tightened some stuff up, and it works a lot better now. It still squeaks, but it's a little relatively smoother than it was. It would be relatively hard to budge earlier. Um, and, yeah... Gus, the other person from Pintler Outdoors YouTube channel, is uh, made some checklists for us, and so we made this um, list of what we're going to be doing throughout the project, and uh, list of items we're going to get to um, uh, use on the boat and fix up the boat in the trailer. So, yeah. So these are the gas tanks that my dad's friend gave us, and uh, they're a little stiff. We're, so we're gonna buy some tube and a kit from the store, and uh, we're gonna undo the hose clamps and take all the adapters off of these and put it onto new fuel line. And um, yeah, these have two different adapters, so there's two different hoses, but we'll just copy and redo them. But you can see them there. They're both um, Johnson gasoline cans from a while ago. And, uh, yeah. It's been about three hours, and we've done a lot of work to the boat. Unfortunately, it's filthy again, so we're going to do a deep clean as well. We, uh... Did some slight engine checks. I lowered the trolling motor. And, uh, it turns pretty well. And, uh, the motor, we haven't tried to put it in a barrel and run it yet. But, it turns as well. And the tiller handle is kind of cool. It's got this gear system so you can fold it up. And still the throttle will be connected. And then... We have the gas tank kind of in a spot where it will be. The battery for the trolling motor will be over there. And the seat, we put this little foam pad to represent the seat right there on the bench. And then this strap won't be here. This is just holding it on the trailer while we're in it. So it's more stable. And this is what we've been working on for the past two hours. This cardboard template that we're going to use to uh, uh, cut out our casting deck. And, uh, basically, it just kind of, uh, holds on, uh, on the front bench over here. We're going to have elevated by 2 by 4s but we have some scrap wood kind of representing that. And then it's just going to rest on this bench over here. We have a milk crate and stuff supporting the middle of the uh, cardboard, so you can kind of get a representation of what will be covered 
but like right here in the middle will be an elevated uh, chair for you to sit and cast off of and you're going to be able to sit up and uh, cast off of the front as well um, and that's the front of it we uh, didn't do any work to the trailer but you can tell we did a lot to the uh, boat so uh, we also uh, you can tell our scrap pile of cardboard from shaping it all is quite large and uh, yeah